Reports say the United States and Turkey have agreed to create an ISIL-free zone in northern Syria. Officials say Ankara and Washington will try to push the terrorists out of a strip of land along the Turkish border. Most of the territory is now controlled by the Kurds. Saudi warplanes have mistakenly targeted positions belonging to the loyalists of the former Yemeni regime in the country's south. At least 12 loyalists have been killed in the attack in Lahij. Saudi Arabia has violated a self-declared ceasefire by targeting positions in Yemen's Sada, Hadja and Aden provinces. Now, Palestinians in the West Bank attend the funeral of a young man killed by Israeli forces on Monday. The 20-year-old Palestinian man was killed by Israeli troops in the Qalandia refugee camp. Tel Aviv claims he was plotting an attack on Israeli troops. A fact-finding commission probing a recent U.S. airstrike that killed eight Afghan forces found that Americans mistook Afghan soldiers for insurgents. The deadly incident happened after U.S. helicopters targeted an Afghan army checkpoint in Logar province on July the 20th. The attack has been condemned by Afghan officials. Representatives of Greece's international creditors are in Athens for final talks on a third bailout package with the government. EU officials are insisting for more reforms by Greece in return for the money. Greece and its creditors are trying to finalize the package by mid-August. And at least two people have been killed in a fresh violence in eastern Ukraine. The incident happened after a regional power station was hit by shelling. It's not yet clear which side started the violence. The fighting comes despite a truce deal signed between the government and pro-Russian militants.